Hi everybody, today I'm pleased to present to you a beautiful house. This is a masterpiece. This house is nicer than any of the houses that we've ever seen before. Normally the features, this architecture, this design is reserved for houses in the four to five million dollar range, Atherton, Los Altos Hills, but we are here in Santa Clara with Cupertino Schools and this house could be yours for just three million dollars. And that's why we only call this house one name. Let me introduce you to Mauricia, and I can't wait to show you inside. Let's take a look. Hi everyone, this is Michael Saldana with The Real Estate Experts, and I'm proud to present to you the house known as Mauricia. This is about 3,200 square feet on a 6,000 square foot lot located in Santa Clara, right on the border with Cupertino, so it does have access to the Cupertino schools. Let's take a look inside. Just looking at the front facade of this house, I love the color contrast. You have the light colored wood, the dark colored wood. Even in the driveway, you've got the light colored cement and the dark colored rocks, light colored stucco, dark colored stucco, even this door, look at this door. I can't, I think it's taller than 10 feet tall. I don't think I could even touch the top. All right, let's take a look inside. When you first step into this home, you're greeted by this grand entrance, this grand presentation of the entire house where you see, you have a look of like the mezzanine, the balcony, you can see the kitchen, the centerpiece fireplace, the dining room, and the living room. Everything comes out to greet you and the colors the architecture, the design, it's so beautiful. I love how this corner, right, instead of just being a flat room that they've put windows on two sides, not just any windows, but a very, you know, good height, six, seven foot window. Um, I love what they've done with these baseboards too. Look at this, this is something I've never seen before. So they have a piece of wood and they've actually painted this groove black and then there's a piece of drywall right on top of it. So it's almost inset in there. What a crazy, what a unique look. I really, really like that. Um, moving over here to the dining room, I love this chandelier piece. Very unique, you know, it's amazing how a nice piece of lighting can really change the mood and the atmosphere of the room. And I feel like this was a good choice. It's like a scroll in the infinity pattern. Very cool. Um, stepping over here to the fireplace, of course, you cannot ignore, this thing is three full panels of stone. Um, this pattern is just such a, a vibrant, a strong pattern. I love this fireplace that's very blue, that it's not just a normal fireplace, it's almost like a high-tech modern fireplace with this blue flame, I love it. This is, this is cool, very cool. Okay, stepping over here, taking a look at the kitchen. I love how in the kitchen, the colors kind of soften immediately. You've got the strong, the black on the fireplace, the dark floors, but in the kitchen, it's almost like you're coming into a spa a modern farmhouse with these kind of like a, a beige, a, mi a medium brown color of drawers, still with the black handles though. So you have kind of that modern feel, that contrast. And then you've got a countertop that's kind of in between. You've got these beige kind of brown streaks in there with the white and the black contrast in the marble that kind of, or contrast in the stone that kind of matches the countertop. The thickness of this is also very nice. That you, it, take, it requires an, extra, an additional stone cut to make this uh, additional thickness. It looks very good. Um, this uh, island also has a double waterfall countertop, so it's, the waterfall comes down there, just like a waterfall. It's the same thing on the other side. And this sink has the coolest, look at this. I've never seen something like this before. <laughs> I think it's for washing hands. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Okay, I can wash my hands in here, that's cool. That's nice. I like it, I like it. All right, um, not only that, but look at this. So we have these really cool, like retractable outlets. Very fancy, very fancy. Plus instead of a backsplash, they just have the stone going all the way up to the top of the ceiling, very classy. And then these floating shelves, also with the lighting, instead of the under cabinet lighting, actually they do have under cabinet, they also have the over cabinet lighting, beautiful. And then not only that, but if you look under, even under the cabinets in the kitchen, we've got under cabinet lighting. And they've even done it where they've offset the toe kick a little bit further back. So it's, it appears that there's nothing under there, even though there is. <laughs> okay, looking at the stove, I love this stove setup. So what they've done is that they've enclosed the stove hood completely with your, um, um, with your cabinet panels. And the stove, this is a Thermador stove and I love it. It's Wi-Fi enabled. <laughs> 
That's how high tech the stove is. It's Wi-Fi enabled. So cool, so cool. Um, another cool feature is, of course, you know, this is this kitchen is designed like a chef's kitchen. So, look at this. We have some big drawers for your pots and pans. Enough storage. There's even two spice racks, and they're double wide. Look at this. One spice rack, two spice racks for the two ovens, of course. <laughs> Not only that, but they've taken the refrigerator and also completely built it in so it's flat and flush with the cabinets. Just what a gorgeous, beautiful Thermidor refrigerators. All right, moving on to the, the rest of the first floor. So there's one bedroom on the first floor. Here's the garage. I love what they've done with the garage here, that they've, um, the epoxy floors are extra glossy, like, so that they're just, shining and gleaming and new. We have a tankless water heater. Everything in the garage is finished, recessed lights. Also, you even have speakers. The surround sound is in the garage as well as the rest of the house. All right, coming back inside the house. Next up, we have an auxiliary storage room. So this is like a pantry. Maybe you could put your wine in here, whatever you need, but you've got all the cabinets, additional storage space, everything that you could ever dream for. Next up, we've got a half bathroom. Um, kind of going in line with the architecture of the rest of the house and the color schemes. We've got the whites, the grays, natural wood tones, white, white. Very clean, I like it. Very simple. And then of course, we've got a nice floating vanity with nothing under there. Nothing, gotta check, yep, nothing under there. <laughs> okay, over here, um, we have a nice little nook. Actually, I like here, because they, they have all the internet stuff baked up into here. And I think that this nook is probably for a second refrigerator, perhaps, in case that's what you need to do. <laughs> okay, over here we have the dedicated laundry room. I love it. They've got a full sink in here, full stainless steel sink, so you can do all your extra laundry washing, hand wash stuff, side-by-side -side washer dryer machine, you know, cabinets, plenty of room for everything that you need to do. Uh, over here, now we've got the, the first, this is the first floor bedroom. Maybe you could make it your office. Maybe you use it for your in-laws. Maybe you put your kids in here. But I love this room because you've got windows on three sides of the room. You have this beautiful door. All the windows have this black trim. I really like the, the use of the black trim windows in this house. Perfect for the color scheme. Um, looking at the bathroom, once again, nothing, no quarter was spared. And I just noticed this, I love this. On the countertop, they've done this angled cut. It's like, it, it's like a countersunk. It's like an, it's like an angled cut. That's cool, I haven't seen that in a long time. And of course, we've got the floating vanity, full storage cabinets, everything you need. Look at this mirror too, look at this. <laughs> oh. Very cool, very cool. And not only that, but we have this full frameless walk-in shower, look at this. I love that inset must be six feet wide. You can put 20 shampoo bottles in there. In fact, it has two shower, oh, it has two shower heads. Oh, I see. I see, this is the, the two shower head shower. Very cool, very cool. So these stairs are also unique. I've never seen a set of stairs like this one. So first, obviously we've got this glass and this stainless metal design, but these, the actual steps, they're made of a butcher block material. It's like a glue, it's like a, a, a laminate or something where they've glued pieces together and it's like super sturdy, super solid, just, oh, that's good, I love it. And I, I, look, looking at the to texture and the tone on this level, on this step, can you see that? That's very cool, I like that. Very nice, very nice. All right, here we are on the top level of this beautiful home known as Mauricia. And this loft is just gorgeous. I love that they've done this glass for the railings. You have the sense of no obstruction. The steel, it's a very small piece, so it doesn't really get in the way. You have this long, channel window and then these two large picture frame windows. So you still get a lot of natural light without giving up any of your privacy. There you go, very nice. You've got plenty of room for an L-sectional, plugs for a TV right there if you'd like it. Very nice. Let's take a look over here. We've got bedroom. This would be bedroom number two. So once again, a simple bedroom, but very nice. You know, we have a very large window over here so you can get a lot of this natural light. I love that you have this panorama of these trees. And then also you have this long narrow window above your headboard so you can get more of that natural light into the room. All right, I think I really like this bathroom because of its simplicity. It's a little bit different from the others. I noticed every bathroom in this house is a little bit different. I love this one because of the glass tiles in the shower. I, I've been really 
really into glass tiles recently, and this is a really clean tiling job. This is pro the, this is, I, I looked at this tiling job. This is the cleanest tiling job that I've seen in a long time. So there's a lot of credit that goes to the, uh, the people that built this home. Um, it's just very clean overall. Everything's very tight, perfect as it needs to be. I love it, look at this. So they did something different with this counter. This countertop, instead of going extra thick, they went extra thin. And you see how it gives it this totally different chic look, especially paired with this mirror that also has kind of like a very thin rim. Very nice, you know, especially for a bathroom. It's a hall bathroom. It's not gonna be huge like your master bathroom, but you know, with that thinness, that, that lightness, you still feel very comfortable inside. Over here, we've got the heater, brand new. All right. Over here, we have another bedroom. Oh, let me show you this DLT detail too. You know, I, I say no detail was spared. They even got the trouble to get the black back plate. I don't know if they sell this. It looks like it may have been custom made. Like it actually looks like a black piece of plexiglass. <laughs> but I bet you they got it from them. Um, okay, looking at, over here, this room stage is kind of like a girl's bedroom. So you've got plenty of room for a desk, a beautiful view of some trees, plenty of natural light, and of course, a walk-in closet. I love what they've done with the closets in this house where they've got these multiple tiers, multiple levels, ready to go, ready to move in. All right, now it's time for the master bedroom. The master bedroom in this house, this is my favorite part because this is a master suite that is just really designed. It's, it's so unique. First, I mean, the first thing that I like about this is this fireplace. Look at this. As a pure contrast to the black, stone fireplace downstairs. This is a white stone fireplace. Not only white, but it is, has this marble pattern. It's also very matte. Oh, I love that feel. It's very soft, <laughs> very cool. And of course, no bedroom experience would be a bedroom experience if you didn't have a beautiful balcony to enjoy your coffee and your mornings and to just take in the beauty that is California, that is Santa Clara, Ah, the best weather. You know, Redwood City has the best weather in the whole United States. They tested it one time. <laughs> but since we're not too far away, it's pretty good here too. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. I could, I could spend my whole day out there. I could spend my whole day. You know, the only thing it might need is a canopy. Canopy, just <laughs> future expansion. Okay, um, this the mat, the, the, the walk-in closet here for this house is so unique too, because I love how they have these lights in here. So it's a very clean, bright white light. And not only that, come here, look at this. It even has a shelf. So you've got drawers, the shelf, everything that you need to do. Wow, very nice, very nice. And then over here into the master bathroom. So this master bathroom, I walked into it today and it felt just like a spa. You know, as a contrast to the rest of the house where you've got this white and the blacks and strong colors, you'll notice there's barely any black in here. It's just white. You have, this is like a lighter tone of wood than they use on the kitchen cabinets. It's almost like a bamboo color. And then not only is it the floating cabinets, but you have a floating cabinet and floating shelf. Very cool, very cool. And I love, look at this, look at this tile for the walls. Isn't this cool? This matte tile that they've put floor to ceiling. The, the, the tiles are about three feet wide too. Very unique, a very unique tile, but you know, it's not overpowering, but at the same time, it contributes to this whole atmosphere where you feel very serene. And look at the tile job on this wall too. Even above the toilet, look at this. They've done this kind of a chevron, the interlocking pattern. You know, these, these, these tiles, this is just like a standard subway tile, you know, that's, yeah, you know, there's nothing special about it, but when you put it in that pattern, especially with this white grout, it's almost invisible. It's very cool. You know, we had a client that we were just working with and I recommended something similar, a bevel tile with white grout. That's what it's gonna look like. Very clean, very cool. Look at this shower too. I love this shower. It's enormous. It ha oh, this one also has two shower heads. Look at this. The rain shower heads are built right into the ceiling. Gorgeous, that, that's cool. That's cool. I would, I would turn these on, but. I didn't bring a towel with me today. <laughs> and of course, to cap it all off, you know, no beautiful bathroom is without a freestanding tub. This one, you, you see, I, the first thing I did was touch it because it has the same, the same matte feel as the wall. So everything is that white matte. It's so soft and warm and, and, and mellow and just really, uh, Oh gosh, <laughs> it just makes you feel so, so comfortable. All right, that was the inside of the house, but now let's take a look at the backyard. 
All right, let's take a look outside in the backyard. Once again, just like the rest of this house, there's a lot of color contrast, material contrast that really just bring everything together. Like, first let me just show you, we have the concrete, we have the grass, and then we have the wood, and then the house. And when you put it all together, you've got this green, this gray, this brown, tones of brown, and I just, I just, I just love this. It's like, it's like an artist's canvas that we have here. You know, in the corner we've got this punctuated like this bench with the succulents, with the drought tolerant plants, it's gorgeous. You know, somewhere you could sit, ah, have a little bit of coffee, enjoy your day, get started. And then, you know, of course you've got a nice sitting area over here. You know, it's just a table, but you see how you can bring people together. And in this atmosphere, you can have a good time. Um, over here, this is gonna be kind of the patio for the first floor bedroom. So once again, you know, you see how just with the color, you've got a full little square of grass, and then this deck that you're sitting, sitting on, it's almost a different atmosphere. It makes you feel a little bit of a different way. It's really cool. Um, and of course, nothing was spared even on the side of the house. They've got the landscaping, the concrete pads, everything is beautiful. Very, very nice. All right, everybody, thanks for staying tuned until the end. I'm so glad that I was able to share with you the home that we only know as Mauricio. If you like what you saw, or even if you didn't like what you saw, give us a call today and we can talk to you. If you have real estate goals, you have real estate dreams, let us help make your dreams a reality. This is Michael Soldana with the Amanda Vang team and the Real Estate Experts. Until next time, bye.